I was scrolling on Fiverr and I came across this listing. I will plan and design your Stardew Valley farm for you. And this had me very intrigued. Uh, I've always wanted to have my own Stardew Valley farm, uh, and, but it got my mind going. So I messaged the person under a pseudonym, of course, Greg Silvers, which is my alter ego. And in the requirements, first question, I answered pretty normally. The second question I answered pretty normally. Third question I answered pretty normally. And then he said, do you have a specific theme you'd like me to stick to or a preferred design aesthetic or a certain layout or buildings you'd like me to emulate? And I just said, please design me the ugliest, most ungodly, horrible farm you possibly can. Then we exchanged a brief back and forth and he was like, wait, ugly? And then he said, do you want it to still be efficient? And I said, I don't care. So that's where we're at. This person sent me over the map file to the farm. And then I had somebody recreate it in Sardu. And yeah, so now for the first time, I do not know what the farm looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and check it out. Okay, so now we're going to get into the most ugly farm of all time. I'm very scared and excited to see what it looks like but let's give it a look the amount of loading time is scaring me why is it taking so much time to load i've never had a farm take this much time to oh oh wow that is that is something i love that despite everything the mat is still in the same place I love all the hoed dirt paths inside and how some of the skeletons are blocked by boarded up windows and I didn't even know this was a pathing. I love how the two benches here just are in complete opposite direction. Just no good way to sit in this house. You cannot watch the TV even if you wanted to. And also they left the parsnips there. <laughs> this was the best $10 I've ever spent in my life. Well, this is certainly something. I do like the plant in the top right corner. I love the house. Let's let's see what's outside. Oh, <laughs> oh, I love just the second you walk out, you just see a fat shed there. Just blocking your view. A shed, might I add, that there is no way to get inside of. All the hoed dirt still here. Love that. Then we've got a bunch of banana trees, it looks like. I do not even remember this furniture item. This is certainly something. All right, I don't even know how to get around here. How do I even get around? It's like blocked off. Okay, wait, I can go through here, I guess. Oh, they went through the, the liberty of planting a lot of spring foraging on this farm. Well, that was nice of them. All right, let's go down here. Oh, great, a, a circle of tables. All the tables are reading the book on the catalog, guys. Oh, the other catalog's right over here. You know, at least they're thinking about function. You're able to gain access to the catalog at all times. Not this one, I guess. This one, I guess we don't need to access. I wonder if there's anything in here. Oh, I've never even seen this clock before. What even is this bare clock? In all the furnaces, is there even like a rhyme or reason to this all? I mean, they definitely accomplished what I was asking. And then, oh, we've entered the candy cane land. Oh, a whole swarm of candy canes. I didn't even know there were candy canes in this game, quite honestly. And then right in the middle, a statue of true perfection. Oh, but don't worry, guys. They put one of every tree type here, I guess, except pine tree. So you have access to tapping. All right, let's see what else is. Oh, is this a song? I don't think this is a song. I love just walking through this segment where it just... Boo -doo -doo. Why is this so unsettling? It's so creepy. You just stand here. That's like Jaws. That's gonna be fun walking through every morning. Let me get to the mushroom cave real quick. Don't worry, let me just... That is truly so cursed. Then we've got just a whole slew of statues over here. The cursed chicken statue. I hate this. I hate this more than anything. The uncompleted skeleton with the regular skeleton in the middle. I hate that more than anything. 
Oh, here's the rest of the dinosaur. Why does this one pillar just look so unnatural? It looks so, I don't, I can't describe it. It looks like photoshopped on, but I swear to God, it's real. All right, we got some more statues here. This, I did not know the strange capsule pulsated. That is unnerving. Can't get to the horse though, unfortunately. He is being blocked by these statues I've never seen before in my life. I'm gonna look inside this house, but I doubt there's anything in here. Oh no, they decorated it. They certainly did. I didn't think it was possible to harness so many different aesthetics at once. Also this rock that's here, super unsettling. I didn't even know you could place that. You could just sit here directly in front of the fire, burn your nose hairs off. Do they choose mushroom or a fruit bat? Up oh, to the mushroom cave, that's nice. At least they have the taste. Oh, wow. I've never seen this style of crop organization. There is no method to this madness. Also, I like how these are all ready to be plucked, but these are not. Also, the, just having the mill here is terrifying, as I don't think anybody's ever used the mill ever. Aww, look at the little Junimos under the Christmas tree. Oh, even if you break this, you couldn't get through because the silo's here. It, for some reason, it gives me a constant state of anxiety. Also, the greenhouse is not built. Walk through my favorite part of the farm, the music notes thing. Is it spelling something out? It looks like kab. Ah, yes, k c b b. It looks like it says sus. In no way does this look like it says sus. Well, I want to just look at the entire farm like all put together. Let's take a screenshot. Wow. This is the thing from far out. That is certainly something. I love that all the buildings in retrospect are all placed in this top right corner. Yeah, the fact that this corner has no grass, really, and all the other corners are covered in grass is actively terrifying. I think the middle is still the worst part, but for some reason, the bottom left is giving me bad vibes. I don't know, the top left is pretty bad too, guys. I don't know, something about this is unsettling. I, I don't know how I feel about the candy cane forest either. All right, can we get a poll chat? Which corner do you find to be the most unsettling? Looks like right now, most people are saying top right is the most unsettling, which is... I could see, but bottom left is at 35%. No one's saying the top left. This is a habu farm. That's true. <laughs> this, this does look like a habu farm. The interiors are like horrifyingly cursed, but they're kind of charming. Ladies, your man's look like this is a red flag. I disagree. I think if your man's farm looks like this, that's a green flag. That means he's min-maxing. You see the efficiency on this farm? He's gone into Ginger Island. He's got mangoes out the wazoo. If your man's farm looks like this, you propose on the spot. Efficiency, there's an unusable shift. <laughs> no, you can probably get in there. You just gotta go through a little jump in the pond. Also, I like that they could have chosen to grow every spring crop, but instead they're just like, nope, we're good with just potatoes, parsnips, and cauliflower. Far and away the best $20 I've ever spent. They killed it. It was $10, but I gave them a $10 tip because I knew that it was gonna be great. It's a steal at that price. Are there any secrets I missed? I wonder what's up in the quarry. Why is this, why is the fact that, oh, the cat's here. I don't know how he got all the way down here, but the cat is here. Also, the fact that there's only copper here and then just a bunch of worms is, I don't know, it's giving me bad vibes. Well, this certainly is something. Also, I, I didn't even see this apricot tree at first because you cannot see it until you go behind the shed. Also, they only used one scarecrow type. This, like, the face one, which I hate. Who, who I find disgusting and detestable. Well, that's the ugliest farm you can buy on Fiverr. You know, it was worth every single cent, I think. I think they sent me over like a nice looking farm too. They sent me over this, which you know, this looks pretty pretty. I highly suggest if you want a nice looking farm design for you, go hire this person on Fiverr. Free see a moonbeam. They created that ungodly masterpiece, so. You know, maybe they can create you something even better. Why do they only plant green beans and strawberries though? That's a weird two plants. All right, chat. Well, that's the world's ugliest farm and it certainly was ugly.